Now, locally, one of the biggest races was the race for mayor in the city of Appleton. Candidates Jake Woodford and Jim Clemens were going head to head to replace longtime Appleton Mayor Tim Hanna. With all of the votes now in, the voters have chosen Jake Woodford as the city's next mayor, winning with 55% of the vote. Now, Woodford will be the first new mayor in Appleton in 24 years. And Local 5's Erin Taylor was there when the winner was announced, and she brings us more. We're here with Appleton's newest mayor, Jake Woodford. The results have just come in. Jake, how are you feeling? I feel great. Really excited. Yeah, it's exciting, but this has to be different than what you imagined when you were originally running for mayor, when you won the primary. Tonight is different. Uh, it's, it's quite different. Uh, when we set out, we certainly didn't expect that uh, the results would come in a week after the election was held, uh, nor did we expect to be uh, in, in my driveway uh, standing six feet from, from everybody uh, doing the interviews. So despite all those differences, how does it, how does it feel right now? Well, I'm, I'm so grateful for the incredible support we've had over the course of this campaign, and, and I'm grateful to my neighbors here in Appleton for putting their trust in me to serve in this important role. And we just saw there was actually a kind of small parade of cars that went by. You had some support showing, even though we're all social distancing here. How does that feel? How does it feel to be elected mayor right now? Uh, well, it's, a, it's certainly a complicated time to be taking up this work, but, but I am so grateful for the support that, that I've had in this campaign. And I look forward to getting to work on behalf of the citizens of Appleton. Yeah, and that complicated time, uh, Mayor Tim Hanna actually endorsed you, and part of the reason why he did was because of this complicated time. How did it feel to get that endorsement, and do you think that that had any bearing on tonight's result results? Well, I'm, I'm grateful that Mayor Hanna uh, expressed his support for me in this campaign, uh, and I'm grateful to the support we've had from all sorts of people from all walks of life who, who, who put their trust in me to serve our community. And what would you like to say to the people of Appleton tonight? Well, I'd like, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for their support, and uh, I, I look forward to getting to work on their behalf. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and we'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. Now we are going to head to Rhonda Fox. She's live now with the Appleton mayoral race runner-up, Jim Clemens, and what his role will be moving forward. Rhonda. Well, hey, Tom, it looks like just minutes ago the race was called, and it looks like uh, Jake Woodford is going to be Appleton's next mayor, but I am here with the challenger, Jim Clemens. And uh, first of all, Jim Clemens, thank you for talking with Local 5, um, and we're after a week of waiting. Um, right now, what are your thoughts on Woodford's victory? This is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was a good race. Uh, Jake and I talked to each other at the beginning and said we're going to make each other work for it, and that's exactly what we did. I was very proud of the way at least him and I stuck to it, and uh, it was always about what we were going to do forward with the city. We never attacked each other as candidates, and I think that's the way politics should be run. So um, it should be an interesting four years for Jake. And so... Also, it looks like um, there have been some issues with the absentee ballots. Um, do you plan to concede the race, or do you plan to contest the race? Um, I haven't given that much thought. We'll see what the totals are and everything, and once it's canvassed. But uh, I think the voters have spoken, and I think I'm willing to live with it. But let's see how the totals come out. I'm sure there's going to be multiple lawsuits throughout Wisconsin because that seems to be the way of politics nowadays. Uh, but we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm just uh, so proud and humbled for all the support that I had, how hard people worked on my campaign, and how the people that were supporting me truly were out for me and for uh, what we uh, proposed to do for the city. And uh, the voters have spoken. So, like I said, it uh, should be an interesting four years for Jake. Thank you so much for talking with Local 5, Jim, and your family. Thank you very much. Reporting live in Appleton, Rhonda Fox, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Rhonda. Uh, live interviews in the age of social distancing. We're also watching other local cities that voted for mayor. The results in Menasha. Incumbent Don Merkus defeated challenger Rebecca Nichols to retain his seat with over 60% of the vote.